What did you think about kissing Tommy on screen? Hi, Tezo! It's Azura. And I'm Jermaine. And welcome back to another episode of Cleverties. We got boy today! Yay! Today, we welcome actor and content creator, Raydo Tao! Hello! Hello, hi! Welcome, welcome. So Thank shy. You. I like. Are you, are you scared, Raydo? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. <gasps> Why? I mean, it's the first like podcast I've done since I got back from the Philippines. So we are honoured. We are very, very thank honoured. Thank you, thank you. Reynold, tell us more about yourself and our viewers here on Hush Podcast. Um, hi, I am Reynold. I am an actor. I um, actually just graduated from uni. I'll be having my commencement, I think, sometime in July. Oh, young boy. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Woo! Yes, so I'm psychology. very Psychology. Oh, yeah, psychology. Oh, wow. yeah, psycho. So I studied psychology for four years. Not sure why I did it now that I'm acting, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it was very enjoyable. So. so what were you doing in the Philippines? You mentioned Philippines. Yeah. Um, I was actually in the Philippines to film a series. Ooh. It's called The Day I Loved You. Yes. It's major a hit. Major hit. Mm. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It's been the viewership has been good. The support has been great. So it's a BL series, and I play the role of Eli. So Eli is a resident, you know, bad boy Ooh. kind of guy who falls in love with the nerdy kid at school. Aww. And for those who are not mm. familiar, what's a BL series? Can you explain to us? Yes, so a BL series is a series with two male leads who, you know, fall in love with one another. So boy love, BL. Oh, oh I love that. Yeah, I, I want to get like to know more about mm -hmm. how it was like acting in this series later on. Mm -hmm. But you know, here on Harsh Podcast, we actually focus a lot on women-centric topics. Mm. A lot of our listeners are females, but we also have a lot of them who are males as well. So today, we want to bring Raynaud on the show to discuss male friendships. Ah. Male friendships. Like we mentioned, maybe not BL per se, mm -hmm. but bromance. So basically, bromance is made out of two words, brothers and romance. Mm. The definition of bromance is a term to define a strong and close friendship between two men. And this is not to be confused with a sexual relationship. So mm. it's a friendship. Right. Okay. Actually, uh, I, would say, I beg to differ. Oh. Oh. I would say it's more of a brotherhood. Oh. If you're talking about bromance. Oh, like brothers from different mothers. Yes. <laughs> I think it's... it's to, to, call it, <laughs> to call it a friendship is... I feel like it it's doesn't encompass exactly what a bromance is. It's mm -hmm. a bit more than a friendship. Mm. Okay, so yeah. in this industry, who do you have a bromance with? In this industry? Oh, my manager for sure. Oh, oh hello! Because he's here! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you would say it's definitely more than a friendship. For it's sure. almost like a best friend situation, but most of the time, sometimes, it's like a group of boys. Yes. I, a group of boys, perhaps not. I think it's, it's possible to have bromance between just... Two guys, one to you know, one. one, to one. Mm. Yeah, it's very similar to a best friend situation. Right. I'm very curious, right? Because I mean, obviously, we only, I mean, we mostly discuss like our girl friendships, mm -hmm. our you know, our besties and all that. For guys, I mean, do you call each other like your BFFs, your besties? How yeah. how, how does it work in like a male <laughs> bromance? How do you call each other? Bro, lo? Is it just yeah. bro? Yeah, bro. It's, it's just bro. It's just bro. Hey, bro. bro. You know, like that's what Zelang calls me. By oh, the way, okay. Okay. like bro. Oh, you guys <laughs> are in a romance. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So like, I didn't see that coming. Between like bromance, right? Guy best friends. Is it like girl best friends where we, you know, we tell each other like our deepest, darkest secrets? I find that my male friends, mm. uh, like however close they are, they just don't go in depth with their problems and issues, you know, but they would tell me. Like, will you cry in front of each other? <gasps> male best friends? Have okay, you? I haven't cried in front of my male best friends. Not that I remember. What with the manager? <laughs> in front of your manager. Have you cried in front of Sean, your I've, manager? I've, I've teared in front of Sean. Aww. I have teared in front of Sean. But yeah. for, for guys, I think, like you said, it's more like, hey, you know, we're bros. But we do share, I do have friends, guy friends, like my bros that I share my worries and really my deeper secrets with. So mm. maybe it's not as common as girls, but it does occur. Yeah. I think... Girls, you know, we talk about everything. We go in depth, the details and everything. Right. Not important details to have. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know. Um, I recently realized that guys also talk. Oh. But I think you don't go into the details of it. It's headlines, headlines, headlines. <laughs> Summarized. I see. Yeah, actually, Correct? yes, I, I do agree with that. We don't we don't spill as much tea. Oh. Yeah. And this is something I saw actually on, on one of the TikTok videos. One of the TikToker was saying, like, you know, guys don't understand if you don't speak the details, I don't want to hear it. It's true. Mm. Is it true? Yeah, because I would have a lot of questions. It's like, if, if let's say, you know, Reno, you tell you tell me, right, uh, like, oh, a girlfriend, oh, I met a girl last week. Right. 
I want to know what was she wearing, what perfume she was wearing, what makeup she had, what did she hair. eat for dinner? Yeah, did, did you, you eat? eat? Huh? Right. Yeah. Well, right. um, she had long hair, she was wearing <laughs> white, and she wore heels. <laughs> Ooh, saucy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this brings me to my next question. Male friendships are more low effort and low maintenance. Ooh. Uh, Do you agree? Kind of, I think. Because I have two really, really, really close guy friends. Okay. And we don't really speak as much. We're like We don't have to text every day. Mm. We, sometimes we meet like once every few months. But I still know that they're there for me. We're still bros. Mm. I would say that my best friend is actually a girl. She's oh. She's been my friend since we were in... Um, secondary school. Oh. And she too, I, I don't really have much conversations with her. Mm. But whenever we meet up, we just catch up over like dinner mm. or, or lunch, you know. But yeah, I still know she's there for me. I don't. I feel like I did not answer your question. <laughs> I feel like in general, your friendships are pretty low maintenance. Low maintenance. Yeah, I think, oh, I think in general. Right. It's a little bit of what adult friendships look like. Yeah. Mm. Once you step into society, you just don't have time to meet your friends every week Correct. like you do back in university. Mm. But between guy best friends, I mean, with guys, there's always like ego and pride. You know, there's always that sense of ego and pride. Not that girls don't have mm. it, but has ego like ever come in the way of, mm. you know, you and your guy best friend? Like fight over the same girl. Thankfully, my, <laughs> my good friends and I, my bros and I, we have different taste in... In girls, partners, and yeah, so. good to hear. <laughs> nice. Um, so for everyone out there, what's um? They're long hair, oh, in white, hair. white dress, white and, and dress. heels. Oh, oh. <laughs> it looks like I remember. Her. Looks like, except oh. I'm in sneakers today. Oh. <laughs> okay, interesting. To the girls, another question. Okay, what do you think of men who are in a bromance? Let's say your oh. other half has someone he's very very close with. Mm. Every weekend, meet up to play soccer, kind. Mm. Is that a green flag or a red flag for you? Green flag. Yeah, for me as well, it's a green flag. I mm. would prefer they have bromances than like... I'm so sorry, I know you have a girl best friend, but I would prefer guy best friends than girl best friends. Uh... Just because... Not that there's anything wrong with having a girl best friend, but just because I really have nothing to worry if it's a guy best friend. If I had something to worry, then, you know, it's, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a green flag for you as well. It was a neutral coloured flag, like it's a brown flag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brown it's, it's flag. good. It's good. It's not too bad. Yeah. Right. Because my my best friend. Yeah. So I'm actually really really close to her her partner as well. Oh. Ah. Yeah. So whenever we go out, there's this running joke. Like, who is the actual girlfriend? <laughs> who is third wheeling? Is, who is third wheeling? Is it me or is it you? Oh. <laughs> yeah. But that's good that you guys all have a good relationship. Oh, yes. Yeah. Really I think that's good. important. Yeah, but I think another reason why, like we not mentioned just now, you are a bit more like open to speaking with your girl best friend, right? Every few months, you meet up over dinner and maybe you just go into more detail and depth about mm. your life as you do with your male best friends. Do you find it hard to be emotionally vulnerable? to your male best friends? Is that the reason why you don't speak as much with them? I think in general, it's easier to be emotionally vulnerable to girls. Right? Yeah, because I, th I feel like the feeling gets reciprocated more. Because we no? ask questions. Yeah. We yeah. yeah. empathise. We're like, yes. oh, kind of, your brother's kind of. like, huh, is it then? <laughs> yeah. But oh, okay. I, no shade against guys, right? Love guys, love girls. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I think in, when guys, when we first form friendships, right? It's very much over silly things. Oh. Where it's like over game, perhaps gaming, like we laugh, we tease each other. Mm. But an interaction with a girl is slightly different. At least for me, like there isn't that straight up like, bro, like, you know, what, what kind of shoes are those? Like, not, at least not from the very beginning. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> at least not from, from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So I think once that foundation of how a friendship is formed is already there, mm. it might be a bit harder to break out of it. Right. Yeah, but okay. I do still have very vulnerable talks with my very close guy friends. Mm. So, like your manager. Like my manager. I I think I've been the most vulnerable to my manager actually. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. 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 Would you say that with male friendships like romances, usually if you're going through a really tough time or you're really sad and stuff like that, you wait till the last minute, like you cannot anymore, and then you go to them and open up a little bit more than usual. For sure. Oh. For sure. Yes. There's the waiting phase. Is it because it's, uh, of ego? It's more of, I think I want to try to solve the thing myself uh, first. I, I don't want to like, you know. Impose on other people. Yeah, I don't want right. to impose on you. Yeah. Okay, so that's bromance. Oh. So we're talking about a relationship that is strictly non-sexual. Mm -hmm. I assume based on what I've been talking about so far. Mm. Now let's move on to BL. BL. Boys love. Right. Okay, so what I understand about boys love is 
basically BLB, Boys Love Boys, mm -hmm. right? As what was portrayed in The Day I Loved You. What was it like, the chemistry between Eli and Nico? Do you mean the characters or do you mean me and the actor? You and the actor. Okay. Um, the very first time I saw um, the actor, his name is Tommy. Mm -hmm. So when I first saw Tommy, he's actually doing auditions. And we did a small script read together. I really felt that Tommy was the perfect person for the role straight away from the very start because I felt there was a certain kind of like chemistry between us that I told I, <laughs> I actually told the producer and the director like it has to be Tommy I oh, really wow. I really did want it to be Tommy oh what you were in the position to decide oh wait I wasn't such like, I wasn't <laughs> up there up no, there no, no, but okay. it just so happened that I was picked for the role first I see yeah. okay uh, so you have more of like a saying power as to who you want to I act with. I think they with. ask for your opinion, right? Because it's important, right? Yeah. Like for the chemistry between the actors. For the chemistry, be the chemistry between the, the right. actors. But I believe like right from the get-go, as you were mentioning, there had to be sort of a barrier to the bromance that could be portrayed between you and him, right? Right. Like even in real life as yourselves, as actors, you had to sort of like get yourselves into the role mm. of the romantic um, kind of relationship. Was it awkward? Not really, actually. It really wasn't. Because Tommy was very professional. Oh. And he's such such a great actor. So on set, when he was in the zone, it was very easy for me to, to give it like back to him. Mm. Yeah. I, I enjoyed very much. So give what back to him? Give the, the, the energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Like, yeah, give the energy back oh, to him. Oh, yeah. okay, the energy. Yeah. <laughs> so very professional. Very, it's yeah, very professional. Are you guys friends? Offset? For sure. For sure. Okay. We still talk. We still chat uh, online. Oh, oh cute. cute. So cute. Boy love. Boy love. Romance. 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 Right. Right. But boy love is a, it's, it's, I think it's a relatively new concept, um, especially to this part of the world. Right. But I see a lot of it in Thailand, yeah. actually. Mm. Mm. I think that's where it kind of, you know, first came about in Southeast Asia. And now there are so many like boy couples. I've seen some, they have joined Instagram accounts. Um, mm. And then they promote shows together. They take photo shoots together of them like lovey-dovey. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty cute, honestly. Yeah. yeah. And after Thailand picked that up, I think Taiwan joined shortly after. Mm. Yes. And then many different places. And I think now it's really becoming a huge sensation. But what I really want to ask you is, what did you think about kissing Tommy on screen? Was it hard for you to execute that? As I was saying, I think Tommy was very professional about mm. it. Both of us, we, we knew from the get-go it was going to happen. So right. I think we had mm. some time to prepare. Like, you know, this, mm. is, this is the scene we have to do. We didn't discuss it though. It wasn't like mm. a, okay, this is how we're going to kiss. I'm going to embrace you. You're gonna... No, we, we didn't do that. It was, very, it was very natural. It was very mm. comfortable. Do you feel it was important for you to take on this role? Important is a strong word. But I felt that it was a great chance for me. I really am very thankful that, mm. you know, I, I got to do this show. Like, not just to the producers and the directors in the Philippines, mm. but everyone here who has, you know, pushed me for to take it up and, and really believed in, in me. Mm. It's like a, a huge step for you. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a huge step. Mm. It is a huge yeah, step. It's showing people that you can do things not just in one dimension, but right. more than that as well. So my next question is, yeah. what did your parents say oh. after oh. finding out that you were about I'm to take sweating, such a role? Oh, these are the juicy questions. <laughs> yeah. <right>? yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm quite close to my mom. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so I did ask her before, like, hey, mom, like, what if one day I, I came out as you know not straight, mm. like queer? My mom is quite Chinese. It's very Chinese. It's a typical Chinese mom. So she was a bit like, okay, I I will have to accept it, right? Mm. Because at the end of the day, you're my son. So if you really are queer, I still love you. And when I told her about this role, surprisingly, she was very supportive. Oh. Mm. Yeah, the only thing she asked me was, "Can you cook with your school if you had went or if you go to the Philippines to film?" As a Chinese mom, as a Chinese mom, <laughs> of course, yeah. the grades are important. Yeah. Right? Wow, yeah. I, that's very surprising that yeah. you know she was was so supportive of mm. you. I love mm. that. Mm. I think okay. I get a sense that you know you were very open to this from the very beginning. You know that um, it's a good career step for you. Uh, it's a great role opportunity. But I think for a lot of males out there till today, even when it's you know twenty twenty three. Uh, there might be some of them who feel a little bit like um, that it might hurt their future steps. You know what I mean? Um, okay. There might be some of them who feel like once I portray a certain role like this, um, that I get typecasted into right. this mm. or that now people see me as this person. Did you have any such reservations? 
I would be lying if I said I was completely free from these thoughts. Mm. I mean, it didn't occur to me like, what if, you know, what if I only get custard for BLs from now on? But after I thought about it for a bit, I realised that it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, actually, because, why not? Yeah, why not, it's right? It's such a strong niche, right? If I get typecasted as a BL actor, then so be it. I, no. I, mm. I'll just do it. Mm. And I think, in a way, it's kind of a positive thing. Because if people have that mindset that, you know, I'm a BL actor, I'm a BL actor. And I do well in a series that's outside of the BL dr- genre. People will see like, hey, actually, this guy can do a lot more than just BL. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Making a strong impact on both ends. Yeah, why, why not? So I read online on an article that your studies really were affected. <laughs> oh, oh no. How did she take it? Sorry, mum. <laughs> so, very, very sorry, mum. I, I love you very much. I haven't told her yet. I hope, what do you mean? I, <laughs> I hope she hasn't seen it's the, on the, news. the article. <laughs> but yeah, it, it did take a toll because... For sure. For sure, for mm. sure. Not I was writing a thesis paper and I took like some time off it to, to film. But mm. I think overall I'm still doing fine. Mm. I hope I don't fail. Oh, Wait, you are don't your grades yet? not out yet? My grades are not out yet. Oh, oh everybody say thing. asylum break. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's too late now, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're graduating yeah. actually. I'm right? graduating. I'm sure she's seen how successful you are, right? After right, right. this entire series was posted online and the sort of like support that you've been receiving oh, from yeah. people not just in Singapore but the Philippines as well. Mm. When I first did the series, I did not think that <laughs> I garner so much support, you know. Mm. I said it I said it before, but I can't stress how grateful I am for mm. everyone who's been involved. Mm. No, but I think it was a big step on your part to take a chance in this mm. that probably a lot of people just knowing that it's a BL series would have turned down. Yeah. Right? Maybe people that are, are you Gen Z? He I'd like, is, to, think, I'd like to think Z? that I'm not. Oh, okay, I mean, but you are. I, I, am, I am Gen Z. I would think that maybe people even just five years older than you yeah. would have turned it down just because maybe they have their own beliefs mm-hmm. um, about you know things surrounding um, queer love, BL, mm. and all that. But what were your views right before you filmed this show about LGBT, LGBTQ plus, LGBTQIA plus? Yes. Yes. <laughs> What are my what are my thoughts? Yes. Were you always an ally? You know. Yeah, actually, I I don't think my thoughts before and after the, the mm. I filmed the series has changed. Mm. I always thought that you know it's all about preference, right? I may like broccoli more, you may like cauliflower more, but at the end of the day, <laughs> we at the all end like of the vegetables. We all like vegetables. <laughs> yeah. So I really think it boils down to personal preference and the type of people or whoever you like. Does not define who yeah, you are. Yeah, it doesn't. It really doesn't define who you are. Love is love. Love yeah. is love. Yeah. yeah. But have you received any like hate comments for portraying such a role? Oh. Thankfully, not yet. Oh. Wow. wow. Because you That's have incredible. quite a presence on TikTok, and TikTok right. there are a lot of very nasty comments. I pray Yo, you never receive. Yeah, I just do any. thirteen seconds dance, and I get like multiple like bad comments. Oh, I, I do. I do. Know. I do get bad comments. I, oh, okay. I really do. But, but not about this. But not about this. Mm. So everyone has been very supportive of this venture. Oh, that's wonderful. My next question actually is, sometimes within your group of friends, especially, you know, bromance, bros, you tease each other. Sometimes there's this like male, like, you got to be strong, you got to be, you know, like yeah. very guy thing. Yeah. When go you to the gym. Yeah. Go to the gym, gym bros. When you took this roll up, when it blew up, um, were there any comments for your guy friends? Maybe it was just like, you know, Teasing you. I'm sure they're very proud of you. Did they say anything about it? Most of the, the you know, the teasing I've gotten was like, you know, oh, you're Biao? You're doing Biao? So you're going to kiss someone, right? Mm. Yeah. It, it's just, it's that, it's just, it stops there. Light oh. teasing. It's very, it's okay. very light teasing. My friends are generally very, very supportive of me. So well, very you pick good friends. Eh? Yeah. Oh, very mm. good, ah. I'm selective. Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my next question also is that um, as to your understanding with your bros, yeah. um, with the bromance and all that, walk us through some bro codes that you think are unspoken of but are in place. Bro codes. Oh. Because we always hear about it, right? But I feel like everybody has a different sort of like bro code. Mm-hmm. I think they're like general. Is it like you can't go for the bro same codes? Girl? Yes, yes, kind yes, that sort. Is there any more? Because I feel like there are a lot. What else can like <laughs> bros not do to each other? I can tell you what bros do for each other. Oh, okay. okay. I think at least within my friend group, we try to kind of cover up for one another. To who? To anyone. Uh, 
Wait, what do you mean? So we like have each other's back. We have each other's okay. backs. Oh. So I'm gonna sound like a horrible person, but I believe that that a good bro, right? Yeah. Okay, let's say let's say your my bro's friends are girlfriend right. calls you and yeah. asks if he's with you. You would yeah, say yes. I would say yes. I I will say yes. Wes, I got your back. Wes, where were you? <laughs> where were you not with your girlfriend, Wes? In the east. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah. wouldn't girls do that for each other too? Like, one time my friend told me if my mom asks you where I am, ever, like, she didn't give me an end date. Like, I guess it's for the rest <laughs> ever, of her life. Ever. Yeah, forever. Just say that I'm with you. So, I have. I have done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's with me, and be. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, covering up for each other in that sense. Mm. I can't think of any at the top of my head, right? Actually, now. girl yeah. code and boy code. Similar? Uh, yeah, it, it, at the basis of it, it's, you know, being a good friend, right? Yeah. Mm. Having someone's back. But I've heard so much about BL. Is there GL? There actually there is. W L W. Oh, Woman love woman, am I right? Or GLG? I'm not too sure, but I know there is. I but it's seen... not as big of a niche yet, I think right? BL is the biggest um, scene right now. I like think so too, because GL. the consumers are women and they want to see cute guys. Hey, actually, oh, that's true. Correct. Really? A lot of the target audience are heterosexual women. Yeah. So Watching us... the BL series. Yeah, yeah. so us, okay. basically. <laughs> what? Okay, so then let's... Why? Why is it just a uh? cute boy? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two cute boys. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, plus one bad boy and one good boy, right? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the more the merrier. Right? Yeah. The more the <laughs> oh, sorry, what? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> 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 Moving on. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, GL, who knows? That could be like a new niche in no, the next like 5-10 years. I totally yeah. think so. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But do you see yourself portraying in similar roles moving on? I, I would love to. If mm. there are any suitable roles, mm. if the script is good, mm -hmm. why not? I, I mm. really would love to. Like currently, we're having some talks um, in the Philippines again. Hopefully it goes through and hopefully I can bring you guys more shows to watch. Yeah. Okay, some notes from our producer, okay? A little disclaimer. In some countries, BL dramas can be crucial in raising the visibility of love between same genders, but we acknowledge that BL dramas can also be controversial um, due to some homophobic undertones, especially mm -hmm. when, like, gay men are portrayed as predators, mm. for example. Mm. But thankfully, we can safely say that there's no such portrayal in the series that you were in. Mm. Reno was in, and we hope that the media representation of the gay community gets better in the future. Mm, absolutely. Mm. Okay, so moving on, whether it's romance or it's BL, we can all agree that being in any sort of relationship allows you to express emotions and sometimes being vulnerable. Mm. So girls, when was the last time you were vulnerable to someone? Last night. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what's the thing, right? I've, told, I've said this before on the podcast. I find it very hard to be vulnerable on social media um, mm. because... There's a lot of people out there. It's very scary. And you may look weak. You may look like, you know, you're not strong. But I was just in my feelings, basically, last night. And I was talking to a friend. And she said to me, uh, Jermaine, always remember, you are beautiful, you are loved, and you are doing well. I and I really that. needed to hear that, yeah. right? I, it's just simple words. So I screenshot that and mm -hmm. I put that on my story. And then I said, just in case you needed to hear it too. The amount of responses I got of people saying, I really needed that. Just, you know, from, from wow. words that I'm not even saying it to you, but just putting it on your story and you internalizing it. I'm beautiful. I'm loved. I'm doing well. So many people needed that. So yeah, don't be afraid to show vulnerability. Actually, I feel that Jermaine is a very tough woman. Like she hardly shows her vulnerable side yeah. to anyone at all. Okay, our tougher mm. lady, Azura, yeah. when was the last time you were vulnerable? <laughs> <laughs> an open book, remember? We agreed yeah. on that. So maybe this morning, last night? <laughs> Five minutes ago. <laughs> Five minutes ago? No, I think the three of us, we are very true to our emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, whatever we feel, we show it right away. Mm. So I would say the last time I was vulnerable, probably like within this week as well. Mm. Yeah, like I'll speak to my family, my friends, mm. about whatever I'm feeling at all. I think for me, it differs a bit. There are things that I'm willing to be vulnerable about, mm -hmm. but some things I, I'd rather not share. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Even and, and your closest even, friends? That, here comes the, the time frame thing, right? Ah. Yeah. So I think the more reserved I am on, on a certain topic, mm. the longer it takes for me to actually be like, hey, yo, I need to talk to someone. Mm. Yeah. So it depends on what the thing is in the circumstances. But if we're talking about vulnerability in general, two days ago. Oh, oh. over what? I had a good talk with my friend in JB in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. We were just ironing out like s how we sometimes have miscommunications and I was telling how I feel mm. and he also told me how he feels. So, oh, so nice. I think we've 
matured, like our friendship has matured from that. Mm. So. Bromance. 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 Exactly. You know, girls have cat fight. Do boys have like, <laughs> I don't know, dog fight? Like what is the... <laughs> do you, have you ever fought with a bro? We argue. Oh. But I don't think it gets... I haven't gotten physical. I hope I don't have to get physical. <laughs> <laughs> but if you need it, no, no, no. <laughs> <If I need laughs> violence it, is never the answer. No. <laughs> Come on. No yeah. violence, but I'd say it's okay to be vulnerable yes. because there's actually many perks of being vulnerable. Mm. I mean, as ironic as it sounds, it actually helps to promote your mental well being. Yeah. It also helps to build empathy with you know the people around mm-hmm. you. Because oh, yeah. if if you always look strong and you know, like that nothing can affect you, then no one's gonna feel any sort of emotion for you. It's just right? gonna be like a robot. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a robot, yeah. a pristine robot. Yeah. Mm. And I think on the rare times that you are vulnerable to someone, it actually helps you foster a stronger connection. Yes, for mm. sure. Between you and the other party. Mm-hmm. So to all of you listening to our harsh podcast, people out there, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Just let yourself be true to your truest emotions. I think that's very, very helpful. It's true. You feel a lot lighter. You feel like you get it off your chest. And Mm -hmm. actually, right, very recently I had this thought to myself of which I think for so long in society, we've always been conditioned that when someone asks you, how are you? How have you been doing? The immediate response is good. I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right. But recently, when people ask me that, if I'm not okay, I go, actually, I'm not okay. Mm. Or actually, I've been struggling. And I think... If only everyone would respond a little truer to what they were actually feeling instead of the generic, why and how did it come to how are you had to be responded with, I'm good. Mm, but, so I think sometimes it's a bit tough though, isn't it? To tell somebody like, if someone asks you how's your day and you tell them actually could be better. I, I feel sometimes like I am like a party imposing pooper? on them. Yeah, mm. like, like why, why are you making my, why should I make your day a little bit worse? Like Don't you have that making the other party feel a bit more negative. Yeah. Or like making him or her feel obliged to ask you, oh, what's wrong? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Maybe? I, I do get that feeling sometimes. Mm. So I, I guess choose. it depends how close you are to the right. person right. and yeah, in yeah, what yeah. context. Mm. Like for example, if I run into Hazy in the lift here mm. and we have 30 seconds and she yeah. asks me, how are you doing today? I'm not going to start crying in the <laughs> lift, right? Because she'll be like, oh my God, what <laughs> do true. I do? But if we're at lunch or where, you know, mm. we have a good like, time to to chat then yeah i will i will share a bit more extensively right i, I think the setting matters yes. as right. well yes. 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 so last but not least any final words to your bros out there who oh. west, uh, west, west. In west. Romance west. In- <laughs> west i always got your back bro always <laughs> always <laughs> jermaine said it's forever right yeah, 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 yeah. yeah forever even, yeah. even <laughs> until death wow. past death <laughs> Even past then, past also. Death. I'll, I'll where, come back where is, and, and where, I'll where is Wes? Oh, with me next with, to me. With me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really thankful for all of you guys. You, mm. you know who you are. Mm. Yeah. So, I got your back no matter what. I hope you got my back. Oh, that's so nice to hear. If you know you love Reno, you love um, to see more of what he's been doing, please follow him on Instagram yes. and on TikTok as well. At Ray T Y R. Did I get it right? You're right. Oh. Ray T Y R is TikTok. Uh, my mm. Instagram is Reno.tyr. Reno.tyr. What does T Y R stand for? Tan Yu Ren. I was gonna say Yu Rong or something. Close, I was guessing close, close, yeah, okay, close. Tan Yu Ren. Tan Yu Ren. Yeah. Thank you so much, Reno, for taking time off a busy schedule to join no. us today. We really, really enjoyed your company. It's a pleasure. It's my pleasure, actually. Thank you for having me here. Thank you, thank you. I shall go watch um, The Day I Loved You after this. Aww. Yeah. Oh. We'll Ten cry one or not, so huh? We'll cry. Oh. Never mind, you need, you need a good cry. Excuse me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's very scary. <laughs> okay, if you have any comments at all, feel free to follow us on Instagram and drop us a DM at itsclarity.co. That's right, you can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, as well as me. Listen, don't forget to turn on your bell. Yes, and watch us on YouTube if you want to see Reynolds kill Yay! Thank you so much, Reynolds. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I met Wes and JC, and well, we became good friends because we were wearing the same shoes. On the oh. first day of orientation. That's how we became friends. Like, is it bad oh, guys? Oh. No. no. <laughs> That's how we became friends. So we got really close after that. And we went everywhere together. We were classmates, right? Aww. So people actually thought that Wes and I were together. So but eventually, he got a girlfriend, right? Yeah, Wes got a girlfriend in the end. Oh, so basically... <laughs> so he cheated. Got twist. Ah! <laughs>